Welcome to Intro to Java with an emphasis on AP Computer Science A with me, Tokyo EdTech. Today's topic, writing objects, and we're going to be working on non-static methods. So let's take a look at the concepts we'll be focusing on. So as I mentioned, non-static methods. We're going to take a deep dive into constructors here. Um, all along, we've been using what's called the default constructor, but today we're going to actually go ahead and make our own constructors. And then we're going to do an example with a printing card, uh, so like from a deck of cards. And then we want to learn about something called the two-string method. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at the person class. This is from a previous video. So our person has two private attributes, a name and an age. So we have a string and an int. Uh, we have our public setters, and we talked about validation in the other video. We have our public getters. Now these are also non-static methods. And by non-static, they refer to a specific object. So let's go over here and just kind of do that for review. So we've been doing this all along. So person Iron Man equals new person. And we'd say Iron Man dot set name. And his name, of course, is Tony Stark. And we could do, if we wanted to, we could also do you know Iron Man dot set age and that would be 53 and so what we want to do here is we want the Iron Man object to be able to introduce itself so I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to add a method down here so let's call this non static method and so it's going to be public because again, we want this to be accessible from a different class. Void, because we're not gonna return anything. And it's gonna be say greeting. And we're not gonna send any values. So this should be really simple. System.out.println. And just say, hi, my name is, quote, plus. And what we can just do here is we can do name, plus quotes, don't forget the space. And nice little period there. Semicolon, boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile that. Make sure it compiles. So far, so good. So now what I can do is over here, I can say Iron Man dot say greeting. You notice how that popped up because the computer knows it exists. Uh, so if I run this, you can see, hi, my name is Tony. I put an extra space in there. Uh, okay, so don't put space in there, my bad. And back. And hi, my name is Tony. So if we had gone ahead and done uh, say Captain America. So Captain America. And Steve. So what we could do here, oops, Iron Man, Captain, I'm just gonna copy and paste. And Captain America. American, <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Captain America. Dot say greeting. Compile that and run it. And you can see that it's a little bit different. So, because these are non static methods, they refer to a specific object. So, in this case, the name is the name of that particular object. So, in the case of Iron Man, it's Tony. In the case of Captain America, it is. Steve. Okay, so when we say non static, we mean it refers to that particular object and not part of the, you know, the class itself. Okay, so now what we want to move on to. So that, that's what we've done before. It's based, there's nothing really new there. So we want to look at this class here called card. And we're going to be working with, you know, playing cards. Like uh, I usually use the Ace of Spades as an example. So I've got a class, it's got a private attribute for name, it's got a private attribute for suit. Uh, we're going to be talking about constructors today. I've got my setters and I've got my getters. So let's go ahead and create a card. So I'm going to say card, uh, so call card equals new card. And I can say card dot set suit or set name and string. And then I'm going to do card dot set suit. And I actually copied it over here, so I had it. And that is the ace of spades. And so if you're a Motorhead fan, you know why I chose that. So let's go ahead and compile that. Okay, now, there's, we're not printing anything out at this point, so we shouldn't see anything. So you can see here, we've created 
this card object. And what we haven't really talked about before is how that works. So if I go over to card.java, there's a special method, a special type of method called a constructor. So there's one that is like this. And this is called the default constructor. So we don't actually have to put it in. Uh, Java will add that for us. So this is the default constructor, default. So this default constructor takes no arguments. So the signature is empty. So in here, right now, there's nothing. Well, we could put some code in here. So what happens is when we construct a new card, this method is called. So I can put in here system.out.println. I am a new card. So just to show you that this is how this works. You see here, I am a new card. Because when we did this, you know, instantiation, this method is called. So what we want to do, so with that knowledge, is we can make our own non-default constructors. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. So what we want to be able to do is card, card, not dart, card equals new card, A and that speed. What we want to be able to do is this. So now you can see that the signature has changed. Okay, up here it was an empty signature. So this just goes back to method overloading. This is just another type of method overloading, but it's a, it's a very specific method called the constructor. So this is a string and this is a string. So if I go over to here, I can go ahead and make a new constructor. Notice I didn't put public here. I didn't put void or any of that kind of stuff. I just put the name of the class. So string name and string suit. So then what I do inside of this, I do this dot name equals name, this dot suit equals suit. So now I've got two constructors, one with an empty signature, one with a signature of string, string. So in this case, I've got string, string, so it's gonna call the non-default constructor. Let's go ahead and run that. And now we don't see anything because this didn't, this didn't print out because we didn't go here. We went here. So let's go ahead and test this. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to print the card. So what I want to be able to do is go like card.printCard, like that. So I'm going to go over to my card class. I'm going to go public void print card. Now what I could do is something very simple. I could do system.out.println this.name plus this.suit. Let's compile that, let's run it, compile that one, and you can see now card.printCard actually prints out ace of spades. That's nice, but I want to make it look really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit different here. I'm going to do quote, quote, plus, plus, minus, 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 and I'm going to make a, like a nice little card uh, graphic here. So let's go ahead and do that. And... So what I, want to, what I want to happen, I'll show you here, is I want to be able to print it out like, basically this will be uh, spade. So actually, this is actually how I would actually code this, uh, because I want to get the formatting right. Spade, and then this is an ace. This is a spade. So let's go ahead and test it real quick. Okay, so you can see ace of spades, which is which is what we wanted. Yeah, is that what we wanted? Yeah, I guess that's what I wanted. Okay, so now of course, if the card is in an ace of spades, that's not going to work. So what we got to do here is I'm going to replace this with quote quote plus plus this dot suit. 
I'm going to replace this with quote quote plus plus this dot name and I replace this with quote quote plus plus <laughs> this dot suit. Let's go ahead and compile it, test it, and you can see it's still working. Now let's go ahead and test that with a different card. Let's go ahead and do the uh, jack of spades just to make sure it's working. Oops, just to make sure it's working how we expected. Compile it. And you can see that we have Jack. Now I should probably test this with one of the other ones, but we'll, we'll let that one go. I'll put that back to Ace because we don't like the Ace of Spades. Um, I was actually standing on the line with Lemmy one time at the uh, Bucharest Airport. I was like three feet away from Lemmy, a legend. Um, anyway, uh, he was ordering a glass of wine, as befits a very cool rock star. Anyway, uh, so. Non-static methods. So basically you can see how everything that pertains to that card object, as much as possible, we want to put it into that card class. That's part of that encapsulation idea, where the object is, is a self-contained unit. And because, because we've done it this way, I can take this card class and put it into another program, and it'll work exactly as, you know, exactly the same. And this, this really helps with code reusability. And yeah, that's that. So our final topic is a method called toString. This is a special method in Java, and uh, all objects have this toString method. There's a default toString method that is included for you. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and do system dot out dot print ln print ln uh, card. So this toString method is a special method. It is called when we print an object. Let's go ahead and see what it is printed. What, what do you think is going to be printed? That's, that's a good question, I suppose. And you see here, we got card at 764C12B6. Now that will, that will differ uh, on your computer, but you'll see something very, very similar to that. And what this says is this is a card object at, I believe this is some kind of memory location. Okay, it might be, or some kind of reference to that particular object. That's why it changes. So this is the default output. But what we probably want to do is something like this, is to make our own toString method. So public uh, string toString. And how it works is we return what we want to be printed. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this.suits or this.name plus this dot suit. So that allows us to control how an object is printed. So I'm gonna go ahead and compile it. And let's go ahead and see what happens here. And you can see we have the ace of spades. So you need to know how to be able to write a two string method. Again, we don't put system.out.println this plus name this plus suit. We return a string. So that's kind of important. Now we could actually, you know, assemble this. We could return, instead of printing it, we could add all this together, use the new line character and return that as two string. That would be an interesting exercise, I think, if you uh, were to tackle that, uh, probably a good practice. So that is that. That's basically what we need to know about non-static methods. So these non-static methods are attached, again, to the objects. So each object has its own attributes, its own set of information, its own state, you might hear it called. Uh, and then we have uh, default constructors where we don't have any attributes. We have, we can make our own custom constructors that are called based on the signature. We can add non-static methods to our objects. And we have the specific method called toString that always returns a string is how we want to print out our object. So that I think is it. I think that was a good that was a good session. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Take care.